Greetings everyone and welcome to Coffee Black, where the Voyager adventures continue on YouTube. I'm your host, Captain G, and this is the channel where you get your refill of everything Star Trek, from trivia, news, reviews, and more. So before I get started on today's topic, I'd like to encourage new viewers to subscribe to the channel, also check us out on X, and visit our Facebook page for more Star Trek content. So today is Model Monday, and as such I'll be doing a diecast model review. Today we're going to check out the La Serena. Computer access file La Serena Alpha. So today I'm going to go ahead and unbox and review the La Serena. This uh, obviously didn't appear in Star Trek Voyager, but given that it's kind of Voyager adjacent because the ship becomes captained by Seven of Nine, I thought I'd go ahead and consider that part of the Voyager collection. It comes in the Star Trek Picard, Star Trek Universe typical cardboard box with the logo for the series. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. If I can get the sticker. There we go. It's a larger sized model too. Well, it did not mean to rip that, but we went ahead and ripped it anyway. This is very, very tightly packed in there. Comes with a magazine, of course. Go ahead and take a look at that. I'm just going to move this out the way first. There we go. Interesting color design, too. Honestly, feels a little more Star Wars inspired than Star Trek. At the same time, it's not really technically a, a Starfleet ship, so I understand it being a little different. Alright, 7 9 ship, we already did a review for that. Shows the ship on the back. Alright. Back to the unboxing. Comes with styrofoam on the inside to keep everything safe in place. There we go. I do like the packaging for these. It definitely inspires a little more uh, faith that the models will be safer during transportation. So, very cool here. Let's go ahead and get the box out the way says La Serena right there on the stand. So first impressions, this is a fairly heavy model uh, given its size. It feels like a little bit of there, a little bit of it's plastic, but a majority of this is metal. It's kind of an interesting hybrid of the two. It seems that the outer parts right here are metal. Looks like what I believe are the engines right here and here are plastic. And the underbelly of the ship also has some uh, plastic as well. Overall, very interesting. Almost kind of like a bat design. I never quite noticed that before, but it does kind of have that interesting shape to it as well. The rear thrusters and the warp cells. Let's see how she looks on the stand. I believe it's just going to fit in right here, maybe, maybe not. go. It's actually a pretty pretty good fit there. Not too terribly snug, but not too loose either. Moving it side to side doesn't seem to damage it. Move it around. That's a really good stand for this type of a model, and it seems like it's a little bulkier, the plastic, to uh, help maintain its 
ability to stand upright and stay on the stand, so that's good. But overall, very, very cool model. Definitely like the size, as this is considerably larger than the usual sized Eagle Moss models. Well, that is all I have for you all today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Also, subscribe for more Star Trek related content. I'll see you all in the next video. Everyone take care, live long and prosper.